Hi everyone, my name is Sam, and this is Today in History. Today is Sunday, November the 10th, the 315th day of 2024. There are 51 days left in the year. On this day in 911, Conrad I was elected German King of Borsheim after the death of Louis the Child, the last of the East Frankish Carolingians. On this day in 1444, Turkish forces defeated the Hungarians in the Battle of Varna, securing Turkey's control over Constantinople, Istanbul, and assuring the Ottoman conquest in the Balkans. On this day in 1775, the United States Marine Corps was founded when the Continental Congress ordered that two battalions of Marines be raised for service during the American Revolution. On this day in 1871, according to his journal, explorer Henry Stanley greeted David Livingston, a fellow explorer in search of the source of the Nile River, with the famous words, Dr. Livingston, I presume? On this day in 1879, American poet Bashaw Lindsay, who, in an attempt to revive poetry as an oral art form of the common people, wrote and read to audiences compositions with powerful rhymes that had an immediate appeal, was born. On this day in 1898, the multiracial fusionist Republican and populist city government of Wilmington, North Carolina, was violently overthrown, and as many as 60 black Americans were killed in a premeditated murder spree that was the culmination of an organized, months-long statewide campaign by white supremacists. On this day in 1918, Józef Pilsudski, Polish revolutionary and first chief of state of the newly constituted Poland, arrived in Warsaw to declare Poland an independent state. On this day in 1925, Welsh actor Richard Burton, whose best-known performances were of highly intelligent and articulate men who were world-weary, cynical, and self-destructive, was born. On this day in 1938, Turkish reformer Kemal Ataturk, the founder and the first president from 1923 to 1938 of the Republic of Turkey, died in Istanbul. On this day in 1958, the Hope Diamond, one of the largest blue diamonds known, was donated to the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., becoming one of its most popular attractions. On this day in 1969, the American children's TV series Sesame Street, which featured a cast of puppet characters that included Elmo, Big Bird, and the Cookie Monster, debuted on the National Education Television Network, later PBS. On this day in 1975, the American freighter Edmund Fitzgerald sank during a storm on Lake Superior, killing all 29 aboard. Its mysterious demise inspired a Gordon Lightfoot song that helped make it the most famous shipwreck in the Great Lakes. On this day in 1982, Soviet statesman and Communist Party leader Leonid Brezhnev died in Moscow after presiding as the leader of the Soviet Union for more than 18 years. On this day in 1990, the American comedy Home Alone written by John Hughes and starring Macaulay Culkin, had its world premiere. A huge hit, it spawned a number of sequels and became a TV staple during the Christmas holidays. On this day in 2001, after 15 years of negotiations, China's membership into the World Trade Organization was approved, and the following day, Taiwan's membership was approved. On this day in 2007, American novelist and journalist Norman Mailer who is best known for using a form of journalism called new journalism that combines the imaginative subjectivity of literature with the most objective qualities of journalism, died in New York on this day in 2015. German politician and publisher Helmut Schmidt, who as Chancellor of West Germany from 1974 to 1982, was one of the most respected and influential of the Western European leaders, died at the age of 96. On this day in 2019, Bolivian labor leader Evo Morales, the first indigenous president of Bolivia, resigned under pressure after monitors claimed that the election for his fourth term in office had irregularities, a claim later challenged. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Today is Sunday, November the 10th, the 315th day of 2024. There are 51 days left in the year.